I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. I like look, you. Go on my Instagram, right? I mean, I'm on Instagram. Go on, on YouTube, right? And type in Alshon Martin featuring Fabio Foreign. Now, listen, I put a song out called Act Out with Fabio back in a long time ago. It's called Act Out. I was the first one to do a song with Fabio and put it on World Star, bro. Me, Alshon Martin. So I did a song with Fabio. This is when Fabio wasn't nowhere, nobody wasn't. Listen, I did the song with him. Um, I put the song out on all streaming platforms. This is when my whole um, label got indicted. So what Shot what Shotty was mad at, Shotty wanted me to keep dropping music under Treyway Entertainment. I am not about to drop right. music under Treyway Entertainment and you got indicted. What the fuck I look like yelling out Trey like you I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but anyway. So and then he told me not to do the song with Fabio. Bro, look everything I'm saying, you can see this on on YouTube. Type in Alshon Martin featuring Fabio. Scroll through the whole beginning, like it's gonna be like a little caption. And when I'm like in the beginning, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Then it goes into the video. That's the song with me and Fabio. You're gonna see, like, damn, it came up together. Me and Fabio really like was around the same time. So like the whole thing was like, I threw the video on World Star. Shadi got that shit taken down. This is why me and Shadi fell out. It's because of the Fabio situation. I, and this is how Fabio got to moving around. Like, so I did the song with with. with Cause like all the eyes was on me during the time. Cause the indictment, it was big. The indictment was real big. So I was the only one from Treyway. So like, so everybody's like, what's up with this nigga? So I dropped the video with, with Fabio <clears throat> and threw it on top of World Star. This nigga Shadi took the shit down while in while he in jail fighting for his life. This nigga worried about what I'm doing. <clears throat> like me, I'm a real nigga, bro. At the end of the day, if you help me out, right? This is how I look at it. If you help me out, you don't need to tell me. Hey, man, look out for me while I'm down, bro. I'm going to look out for you off the strip because you helped change my life. This nigga was so worried about what I'm doing musically rather than, like, look at the fact, nigga, you fighting for your life right now. Nigga, this nigga, you know, you fighting the whole indictment. So this nigga took down my song with Fabio from all streaming platforms, took that shit down from World Star, took it down from YouTube. It just got back up up again. They kept taking it off, taking it down. I was fighting through, fighting the lawyer with this nigga while he in jail, bro. Like, that's, that's how I felt like with Shadi, bro. This nigga was mad that I did a song with Fabio, bro. And guess what happened? Fabio blows up. Now, guess what? Everybody on Fabio dick now. But I was fucking with Fabio when he, he didn't have, like, it was none of that. Like, it was like, I fucked with him because I thought he was dope. And I and I rocked with the nigga. He was on his crib shit. I'm on my crib shit. And I'm out here in New York. Like, I was surrounded by nothing but bloods, bro. I was on a blood label, nigga. I'm the only crip over there. How did, so that of make you, I mean, how did that make you huh? feel? I mean, bro, it don't make me feel no way because I'm, I'm a stand-up nigga. I, I go anywhere I want. But the thing is, is like, you got to understand, Snoop Dogg was signed to a blood label. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, like, it doesn't matter. Like, that shit don't matter. Like, it's about business. Niggas getting money, doing music. It wasn't like I wasn't uncomfortable or nothing like that. It's just that once I got to New York and I was in Brooklyn, I was in the 90s, nigga, it was like, shit, these niggas is... Niggas is Crips, and I'm finally around some Crip niggas, and nigga, I want to get in the studio and do some music with some niggas. The first nigga I tried to do a song with, which was Fabio, you niggas felt some type of way about. You know what I'm saying? Now look at Fabio now. You get what I'm saying? So you can't listen to what everybody say. It goes back to what I was saying, my nigga. Stop. Be your own man. Be your own person. Go with your own judgment. My nigga, don't listen to what the next motherfucker got to say about the next motherfucker, bro. You, you, be your, you judge that person on your own, bro. You get what I'm saying? You do what you do. And that's why that's just how I am, bro. Like, and now look at Fabio. Now I got like a gang of unreleased songs with Fabio. Whenever, whenever I'm in the story off, I'm where Fabio at, he pulling up on me. Cause we got that bond and he ain't charging me. Now I ain't saying that he gonna he gonna tax somebody else. So you feel me? He gonna whoop up whoop beside their head, but like that's just how the game go, bro. So like let's break that up though. Um the managerial relationship and things of that nature. What do you think, I mean, what have you hoped Shadi have done differently for your career? And this is really more so a teachable moment for anybody that's an artist in the room. Um, I just wish he, um, well, for me personally, I just wish that he would just let me like kind of like spread my wings and just do what I do. Like instead of me like, like you kind of like piggybacking off of 6 9 Yeah, because during the time, you know, 6 9 was like on fire. Like it was no putting on 6 9 out during the time. 6 9 was just like, 
charting everything with doing it like when you behind a person like that that's just charting i'm talking about everything they drop everything is just charting it's kind of hard to come out like right behind that person you get what i'm trying to say so like <clears throat> i just wish that shoddy would just let me just do me instead of like wait behind six nine or shit you get what i'm trying to say like i was more like kind of like on the sideline waiting for six nine to like cool down maybe or not even cool down i don't know i think you know a mean? lot so. of managers that that manage multiple artists like that don't get the fact that they can all be lit in they all in their own in their own way right you know what i'm saying right. like right. They, they don't gotta be in each other's lanes like don't right. have them open up for each other like stop doing right that right 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 and but at the same time you know and i was trying to explain to him like six nine fan base is different from my fan base you know what i'm saying like 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 you gotta understand, people got different fan bases. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously, you can't like, you can't have like two. Like you can't have like. Let me think of somebody, for example. Um, you can't have like y'all. Y'all y'all know who like uh, Mozzie is on the West Coast. Y'all play. I don't know if y'all listen to. Okay. 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 So y'all y'all can't have like Mozzie open up for six nine. Like I just feel like that's a different it type. It wouldn't of, make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's not gonna be the it's. He going to rock out because he's Mozzie, but it, it's just not going to be that. It's going to be a different crowd. You get what I'm trying to say? Yes, I definitely get it. So, yeah, that was my main question, too, because I feel like a lot of people, they don't realize when you sign to a label or a situation or manager deal or whatever the case may be, and the artist is lit already, you're literally walking in their shadows. And it's fucked right. up because the artists themselves don't understand how to give Sean bright with the rest of the stars that's right that's right and then again me too me being who i am i didn't want to beef with everybody like <clears throat> like like how six nine was like this dissing everybody and all types of shit like like i was i was down for the cause like if some shit came our way but i really wanted to work with a lot of artists too like i'm not trying to be an artist like dissing niggas like i'm definitely not about that you feel me i was more like nigga, i'm trying to nigga work and network and fuck with niggas more than like this niggas bro you get what i'm saying so but that was this whole little thing like dissing motherfuckers and you know that was that was that but yeah i, I totally i didn't agree with that at all so so now that we speaking about it all right fuck it i might as well ask um <laughs> when six nine was doing the antics how did you feel about the antics and being tied to did you yeah. feel like you had to be security and the artist? Or yeah. You, like, how you felt about that? Honestly, uh, man. Yeah. No, nah, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't agree with a lot of shit Six Nine was doing. You know, um, just because I rock with somebody, don't mean I agree with what the fuck they doing at all. Like at all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit I definitely didn't agree, but a lot of shit I can't really. I couldn't really tell them not to do because that's what the OGs and the shoddies and the other niggas, that, that's what they was there for. You know, I'm not from his hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like an artist trying to come up and do my thing. So I kind of stood in my in my little lane, you feel me? I didn't say, hey, man, don't do that. Like, that was for the the, the nine trays or whatever Billy niggas that was around him. We, we was claiming it. that was their job. You feel me? So that was what he brought upon himself. You know, I was never agreeing to none of that shit. All right, that's what's so I feel like, like before, it was just tainted. So niggas ain't really get pulls. Niggas ain't really get to feel you or even know who you was. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know I'm I, was beefing, I was beefing with, like, niggas on the West Coast heavy. Because yeah. Behind, behind that like, I'm just like, yeah. yeah. So, like, this is the nigga that niggas could relate to a niggas be like oh yeah I, I fuck i fuck with boy uh uh you feel me just mm -hmm. over the strength because you seem real bro like you know what i'm saying <laughs> saying real shit you seem real right now and before yeah. it was like all of that shit was tied to you so you couldn't even give off this or even if you was giving off this it wasn't even seen or you know what i'm saying accepted yeah type shit. most definitely yeah you i agree with you i agree with you but you know um niggas like i said like niggas like fabio and all them niggas already knew what time it was because they already knew the position once they came around and started fucking with me in the studio every day and you know what i'm saying like it was like niggas started to see like oh okay i see how you where you at with it and what you're doing and what you're trying to do and uh that's why i never got like like i said i never got none of my homies involved in no bullshit 
never got nobody involved in none of the antics this nigga was trying to do. And, you know, I mean, some of the shit was funny, but some of the shit was like, ah, you know, you can get caught up in some real shit. You know what I'm saying? 